place in which we are now met has been duly sanctioned according to the law for the celebration of marriages. And you are here today to witness the marriage of Tony Hewitt and Tracy Cutter. Marriage brings together not only two people who are in need, but two sets of family and two sets of friends. So the presence today of your chosen guest shows you both just how much you are loved and supported. And I'm quite sure it means a great deal too, that everyone has come, not only to share in your happiness and also the celebrations, but I would say far more significantly to witness your marriage vow. Marriage, of course, is a bond to be entered into only after considerable thought and reflection. It's a desire by two people to accept each other for who they are, to share all that they are and all that they have with each other. And it means making a commitment to develop cooperation, friendship, and of course, mutual respect. As a wife and as a husband, you are each other's lover, teacher, occasionally a critic, but always a best and trusted friend. But marriage also requires the ability to listen, the wisdom to know when you are wrong, and the humility to put things right. But most of all, marriage requires unquestioning love. So for Tony and Tracy getting married today, it's a proud confirmation of the love and friendship they have for each other. And together, they'll be stronger to meet whatever life may hold for them. Do you take Tracy to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. And will you love, respect and cherish her? I will. And Tracy, do you take <coughs> Tony to be your lawful wedded husband? I do. And will you love, respect and cherish him? I will. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. I promise to care for you. I promise to care for you. To support you and comfort you. To support you and comfort you. Through good times. Through good times. And through troubled times. And through troubled times. I promise to respect. I promise to respect. To cherish you. To cherish you. And to be faithful to you always. And to be faithful to you always. Lovely. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. I promise to care for you. I promise to care for you. To support you and comfort you. To support you and comfort you. Through good times. Through good times. And through troubled times. And through troubled times. I promise to respect. I promise to respect. To cherish you. To cherish you. And to be faithful to you all. And to be faithful to you always. From this day forward. From this day forward. I promise to love and cherish you. I promise to love and cherish you. Protect and care for you. Protect and care for you. Hold and comfort you. Hold and keep you. Hold and comfort you. And be your friend always. And be your friend always. I will share all my hopes and dreams with you. I'll share all my hopes and dreams with you. And treasure the time we have together. And treasure the time we have together. Today I give you all that I have to give. Today I give you all that I have to give. A lifetime of love. A lifetime of love. From this day forward. From this day forward. I promise to love and cherish you. I promise to love and cherish you. Protect and care for you. Protect and care for you. Hold and comfort you. Hold and comfort you. And be your friend always. And be your friend always. I will share all my hopes and dreams with you. I will share all my hopes and dreams with you. And treasure the time we have together. And treasure the time we have together. Today I give you all that I have to give. Today I give you all that I have to give. A lifetime of love. A lifetime of love. I'm sure you all agree 
you're a perfect call. You are the light of our lives. Kind, caring, loving. <laughs> what are you? Yeah, but loving your man. I am so proud of you. I miss you both. You're very happy to see your future together. Please raise your glass for Tony and Tracy. Tony and Tracy. It's lovely to see all of our family and friends here today to help us celebrate one of the happiest days of our lives. It really wouldn't be the same without you, but it'd be damn side cheaper. <laughs> That's not the point. Unfortunately, it's not been possible to have everyone we love with us today. But we know they are with us in spirit and in our hearts. So with that in mind, I would like you to raise a glass and uh, with a toast to absent family and friends. Absent family and friends. I want Tracy and Tony to thank me, Mum and Dad, for welcoming Tony into family from day two. Day one actually involved the police. <laughs> true story? True story. And also the time that Tony bought me mum a hearing aid for Christmas. She actually thought it was a pair of earrings. <laughs> A marriage of over 60 years and a love for each other that most people don't dream of. <laughs> You've been the most amazing parents. These are both strong, kind, caring, and loving. You're not just a mum and dad to me, but you're your best friend. And I've had the most amazing upbringing. Thank you. So I've got some flowers for me, mum. Thank you. to a fault but they are the most generous couple I've ever met in my life um, and one of those examples when Tony was a young lad he actually both of them brought up in the homelands sat outside the Jeff's shop all day for charity in a tin of beans now as Tony said and stole me thunder the two of them grew up together Michael and Tony being inseparable and like brothers from a very young age. Um, and indeed, Sheila, as he said, took you in um, and he was known as the adopted one. And I think it's frustrated Michael over the years that she doesn't necessarily side with Michael. She also sides with Tony, but I did so. Um, there's definitely no favouritism between. Different nicknames, one that stuck in adulthood right way through, sorry babe, the Sunland Spewer. <laughs> so, Tony can take his drink, likes to reject a bit and then take some more. <laughs> and on one camping trip away with the family, he managed to dive out the tent to be ill in the middle of the night. Spewed on the side of the tent where Janine was asleep inside of it on her head. <laughs> um, on it. Speaking his words, because this is definitely Michael Quigley's words. Tony, I'm so happy you, my brother. I wish you all the best for a long and happy, loving marriage with Tracy.
I am Tony Yield. I am Tracy Blacklock. I'm sorry, Tracy Mark. Oh, Tracy Cusack. Just... <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm Tracy Cusack. I'll just ask Tracy again. And so Tracy? Cusser. No, Tracy, I'm Tracy Cusser. 